In this video, we will learn about how the transformation of units does not change the identity of the measurement itself. Tina's locked out of her house. When she goes to the locksmith for a duplicate key, she tells him that the length of the key is 6 centimeters. The locksmith tells her that he can only visualize the length of this key in the diameter of pennies. Let's look closer at the plans of Tina's lost key. The length would remain the same. How many pennies long is this key? The key has a length of 3 pennies, while we know this same length is equal to 6 centimeters. Since 3 is a smaller numerical value than 6, we know that pennies is a larger unit of measurement compared to centimeters because one penny takes up about 2 centimeters in length. It's the same object, Tina's key, but we have three different length measurements that are equivalent to each other. One key equals 6 centimeters, which equals 3 pennies. Now, let's measure the same key in combs. Is a comb larger, smaller, or an equal unit of measure as pennies? That's right, a comb is a larger unit of measure because one comb is greater in length than one penny. This key is about half a comb long. While it took three pennies to measure the length of the key, it only took half of a comb for the same measurement. Now, let's look at this jar filled with water. We know that this jar has 500 milliliters of water, but how many jelly beans does it take to fill it completely? With no spaces in between, the same jar takes 200 jelly beans to fill. This means one jelly bean takes up more space than one milliliter. How many milliliters does one jelly bean take up? Yes, a jelly bean takes up 2.5 milliliters, which can be rounded up to about 3 milliliters. We may be measuring the same volume, but with different units, we can grasp a better understanding of what that volume may look like. We may have a harder time understanding what one milliliter looks like, but we can roughly know and can imagine the size of a jelly bean. Using jelly beans, we can easily understand how much the 500 milliliters of water in the jar is. For instance, how many jelly beans is the 100 milliliters of water in this glass? Exactly, it's about 30 jelly beans. The amount of space 100 milliliters of water takes up is equal to the space of 30 jelly beans.